talk about the end of game kerfuffle between Donovan Mitchell and Zach Collins. Then we're going to talk Ken Dorsey because his presser just wrapped up. But first, a word from our friends over at FanDuel. It is officially Super Bowl season, and there is no better place to celebrate the Super Bowl then with FanDuel America's number one sportsbook. If you're like us, Super Bowl Sunday is all about scoring the best seats on the couch, grabbing your favorite football snacks, and placing some super bets. And right now, FanDuel has a ton of different ways to help you end the season with a W or two or three. Not only can you bet on who will win the Super Bowl, but you can also bet on which players will score touchdowns, how many points will be scored, and so much more. And today, new customers get $200 in bonus bets if their first bet of $5 or more wins. So make sure you visit FanDuel.com slash UCSS to sign up. That is FanDuel.com slash UCSS. Make every moment more with FanDuel, an official sportsbook of the NFL. At the end of the Cavs-Spurs game, the Cavs were up by about 20-ish points, a minute and a half left to play, and then Zach Collins did this. Steve, you can take tag board full here. If you hadn't seen it, it's as dirty as it gets. They'll show a replay in a sec, and here comes Donovan with the retaliation. Earl, Donovan Mitchell's a man who we have learned stands on business, and I can't for the life of me understand why players continue to try and attack him in uh, dirty ways, especially with a minute left down 20 points. Why? Man, one of the things that I really love about Donovan Mitchell, outside of the ability to just play basketball, I try to like really gauge somebody's like mentality. Like this dude is an alpha male. Like he's an alpha dog. He's a dude that stand on business. You, that's not a dude that you just finna like think you can do anything to out there on that court, and he just gonna stand there and take it. We seen this last year with Dylan Brooks. We seen it earlier this season. I think it was with uh, Draymond Green uh, before <coughs> Draymond Green got suspended. So. Donovan Mitchell definitely stand on business and he lets you know, like, I'm not nobody to play with. But what I like about that is it seems like it always gives the rest of the team energy, right? It seems like that type of that type of approach, that type of alpha leadership, like your team feed off of that. Right. And, and things like that, that that's going to help you going further as you get to the playoffs. Because remember, this is a team that we talked about their toughness. The mental toughness being pushed around and things like that. And, like, he gets pissed off when these things happen. It's, at this point, the game is wrapped up. And you out here being extra for no reason at all. Like, he did the right thing. Yeah, I, I think he did the right thing. I, I will say, though, I saw this play differently, I think, than you guys did. Zach kind of half-heartedly threw an elbow. I didn't think You know it what was, it was, though, Jay? Not to cut you off. You know I, what it was? was? The, I know the score has something to do no, with it. If, if you, like, so I was preparing for getting, getting my graphics and stuff together today, and if you go through and you look at some of the pictures and just some of the mm. steals from, from the game the other night, he was getting whacked across the well, head and beat up all the time, and then he's probably like, you know what? At the no, end of the game, this is still happening. That I'm was pissed. the tipping point. Yeah. To me, I thought he took worse during the game. Yeah. And I was, at some point, uh, surprised that he didn't retaliate earlier and I think you're right I think he had just finally had enough but I mean I've seen guys do way worse than what Collins did I mean it looked to me like he, it was a non-committal elbow he didn't even like he didn't throw his arms out at him he almost like recoiled a little bit that's but it was still it was in total they had been getting away with that all night I think he I'm glad he didn't because he we didn't want to get him ejected earlier in the game yeah. But it does send a message to the rest of the league if they don't already know it. Don't mess with this guy. Yeah, because you, you are going to get the, you know, you are going to get the sword. Yeah. Well, when I was when I was coming up, I was we was playing, and my defensive line coach used to say it all the time. We'd be in two days of camp, and uh, he'd be like, "Hey, listen, hey, I don't want to see nobody taking no extra stuff. You know, you're going pass rush, one on ones." And you may lose, and all of a sudden, the offensive lineman want to put the gravy on top. Don't try to act like you was doing me like that. You're going to put the gravy after the, after the whistle blow, you fat boy. This is, we don't like that. <laughs> Get your hands off me. He's like, listen, we not, we, you don't ever want to put nothing on film that you got to live on. Because now, now the next day, he cutting you. Now the next day, they, 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 they double teaming you. He said, bro, you got to fight. Sometimes you, look, hey. I'm not going to take certain things. I ain't going to take no hands to the face. I'm not taking that. And this was a prime example of I'm setting this up for the playoffs. I'm just letting you know that I'm not going to be, remember Bugs Bunny used to be like, I'm not going to do any, none of this and none of this and none of this. 
and then you, he's sitting there, and Elmer Fudd is getting beat up the whole doggone time. I'm not going to be Elmer Fudd out here, bro. You're not going to do me like that. And that's why Donovan Mitchell is the bona fide leader of the squad. You know why? He's the dude that if, if you play, it don't matter who it is. It could be the Lakers, the Knicks, it could be whatever. He's not going to take that. And it gives, I wish we would have seen that one time last year in the Knicks playoff series. See, you know what? Here's, here's what I will tell you this. I think it rubbed, I think this offseason it rubbed off because Jared Allen is playing different. Jared He's Allen different, is a yeah. different cat right now. He and doesn't seem as timid he or does, passive. Yeah, he doesn't seem like the cowardly lion. He's just like, no, listen, he's ready to go. He has his short, his sword sharpened. And I like the fact that Zach Collins was like, oh, I thought I was going to get away with that little bit. That was light. He was like, no, I'm, 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 I'm here for all the smoke. I like, love it. Love it. Yeah, I think long run, it's a really good message that this team needs to send because I think their toughness was questioned last year in the Knicks series. I think that's kind of that, that reputation has carried over to the regular season. All the guys are going to see this around the league and they're all going to say, Oh, okay. He's not going to stand back and take it. So I'd like to see one of the other players, maybe a Mobley or Allen, but I don't know that you can poke them hard enough to get a reaction like that out of either one of them. I'm wondering outside of Tristan Thompson, is there anybody yeah. else on this roster that's really built like that? You no. Know, like, I don't think there is. They're, 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 these is dudes you let date your daughter or your sister or something, man. They were really respectful. They come over for Sunday dinner and bring a covered dish. You didn't even ask them to. <laughs> you know what I mean? These dudes Maybe are, even these, a bottle of wine. Well, yeah, listen, and then they shake your hand. Hey, thanks a lot for having me. Listen, they, listen the Cavs didn't had to – they – if, if this is hard to say. They do have good citizens. They are nicer than the 80s Cavs. And if you're looking at the oh, 80s Cavs, man. they were, listen, Lenny Wilkins, like he's a, <laughs> listen, Lenny Wilkins is a first ballot uh, uh, heaven Hall of Famer. That's an example <laughs> of a team completely embodying the personality of their coach. Mark Bryce, Brad Doherty, Doherty Larry Tom Rod had a little edge to him, but mostly those guys. They'd smile after you would beat them up. Man, uh, hey, you didn't mean you that. Know? I know you didn't mean that. Hey, listen, man. You know, great job, Michael. You hit another shot on us. You know, it's, it's, these dudes is that nice. We can't have that in, they in, are this, in, in this NBA. All right.